What's up everyone? Welcome back. It's the tech expert here and today we're going to be reviewing something really, really cool. So I saw this red magic tablet maybe a couple weeks ago and I pre-ordered it and um, got a little bit of a discount, about 30 bucks. Um, and I was like, this is it. This is how I'm going to start the channel um, reviewing something. So I've never had a gaming tablet before. This is my first gaming tablet. I've had gaming phones. I've had the gaming laptops, Alienware, you name it, but never a tablet. So I was like, you know what? This is the perfect thing to start with, right? So color and specs. This is the 12 gigabyte uh, RAM model with 256 gigs of storage, midnight black. It starts at 499. But if you pre ordered or you do like their mailing list, they, you might get a couple dollars off, right? Um, there is a 16 gig RAM model with 512 gigabytes of storage, also midnight black, but that is a lot more pricey sitting at $649. So about $650. It comes with the latest third gen Snapdragon 8 chip, internal fans, and a 3D heat pipe, which we'll see in a second. A 10,100 milliamp dual cell battery with 80 watts of fast charging, as well as a transparent display on the back. So we're going to see all of that. Uh, I, I'm just going to open it up. So um, just you know, as I go through this, I uh, want to note that, you know, I don't, um, and as you can see here, I don't really script what I say. Um, I do have like bullet points essentially of what I'm going to talk about, but beyond that, not much really. So you can see the, um, the model here red magic nova gaming tablet the midnight uh color. so let's open this up apologize if my table's a little shaky it's not actually the table that's shaky it's the uh, tripod setup so let's pop this out come on come on fall out okay this is taking too long okay i'm trying i'm trying guys i'm actually trying all right wow all right so um your standard box really all right let's pull this out so it says nfc tag guessing it has nfc that's cool i'm guessing the power button's there nice oh wow so that's that's it that's what i was that's what it's famous for um it is famous for its transparent back so Let's get this out of the packaging. Um, yeah, this is what it's known for right here. The glass display on the back that shows, I don't know if that's real circuitry, but um, apparently the cooling uh, copper is under here. We have the cameras, not too thick of a bump, but it's kind of large. Feels really nice metal all right so we got a camera up front here cool so let's take a first look at this um looks pretty good you got adapters on the bottom for like keyboards and whatnot other attachments so let's continue with this i'm gonna put this aside right here move my chicken oh you know what the chicken can just sit on it yeah all right, let's see what it comes with. I'm guessing this is the charging and whatnot. Yep, so it comes with a 80 watt. Oh, this is beefy. This is beefy. And uh, 80 watt charger cable. Cool. We're going to move that aside real quick. I think that should be all. Yep, that's all. And then we got over here. Probably a manual, right? I mean, you can only... I think it comes with like a sticker. Oh, uh, real cool. Nice. Got some stickers. Cool. And then a manual. 
I uh, don't think I'm going to read it. <laughs> you know, why do companies still add manuals? Do people read it or is it like a liability kind of thing? Um, I don't think there's anything beyond that. All right, let's go to the tablet. Shake in. Let's sit you back over here. Right here. Cool. So let's fire it up. Um, but before we do that, this is a 10.9 inch, 2.8 K crystal clear resolution display. It has 144 Hertz refresh rate has ultrasound from what they said. It is 3d audio with symmetrical speakers. All right. So let's take a physical tour here. I'm assuming that is some sort of microphone and maybe fingerprint. Um, got a button up here. That's your volume power button. Um, and then the bottom adapters for like keyboards and other accessories, more speakers, and then the charging port USB-C right there. Now the back, it's metal and it has a glass. This is the transparent display that they were talking about. So that's powered up because what good is a tablet if it's not powered up? See that sticker on my, on my phone right there? <laughs> yes, I use a phone to record. Oh, cool. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set this up and then once we're done, we're gonna come back to it, but it looks pretty cool. I can see the refresh rate right there. And um, it's currently charged to about 82%. So we're gonna get started and I'll come right back. All right, so um, I actually spent a little time setting this up. So it's there, I'm just gonna show you what I got. So before I said that that was probably the fingerprint, it is not. The fingerprint is up here which I have it to my, oh, that was quick. Let's do that. It's on the power button. Your power button is your fingerprint scanner. Uh, yeah, that is pretty accurate. Now, um, while I'm downloading uh, Asphalt there, a um, couple things I wanted to go over. <laughs> it does have like these advertisement, uh, you know, apps in there that these companies probably paid them to put in. Um, but the cool thing is you don't have to download them. And uh, let me see if I can even delete them. Yep, you can remove it. Now it's optional. If you wanted to install them, you can. And you just click that download button and it'll do it for you. But uh, beyond that, um, that's that's really that. Now, I saw this. I mean, the UI looks pretty simple for what it is. Uh, let's go up here. As you can see, you have you know your your full menu. You can change the refresh rate. Probably I have it on auto, but you can switch it to any of these that you would want. Now, probably auto is going to switch depending on uh, your usage. So you could probably do that. Um, auto rotate. You know you got you got most of your really cool features, right? Now there is a cooling fan. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm supposed to get some RGB in there. Oh, wait, hold on. So the fan's not spinning. You can see the fan right here, actually. Um, <clears throat> let's see how we're going to do that. Uh, game space. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on? We're all witnessing this uh, together. All right, so this is kind of like... Um, Okay, you got music on there. Um, let's keep that on the lower end here. So you can put your games in here. Oh, oh. I just turned on the fan. I don't know. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Hold on. Um, let me switch this over. Oh wow, look at that. So it has lights. It has lights and. The fan is spinning. Let me turn it off and uh, show you. So that's when it's not, well, it's still spooled up. See, it's not spinning. 
I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on here. Oh, hit my light. Oh, yeah, cool. All right, so I don't know where it gets air from. Where does it circulate air? All right, well, I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see, we got music. You can turn off music. You can make everything a tab here. Cool, cool, cool. What's super bass? Oh, oh God. <laughs> so I've seen a little bit of this when I watched a couple reviews. Um, yeah, there's a lot of features you can add on to here. So you can actually project to a monitor. You can, you know, have a bunch of, um, features to play with a gamepad, um, and a bunch of other things. And this is kind of like their, um, their game master screen, right? And, uh, let's see, what is this? What the heck? <laughs> what? What is this? Oh! <laughs> I know what this is. I know what this is. Um. Oh, God. I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. What? <laughs> what? Uh, what is going on? What is this? All right. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, let's let's get on some music. I think there's some music on this. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Mora care? What the heck? All right. Well, look, you, you got to understand what they're ca catering to, you know, but, um, I mean. How come they're fish? What's this for? <laughs> uh, yeah, interesting. All right. Uh, oh, okay. I'm married. All right. Um, oh, what? It's on my main screen. Oh, look, she's following my finger. Look. Okay. All right, we got to get back on on the uh review here. Uh, oh, what? She has her own app now. Hi, Captain. Hello. I'm the captain. All right, that's kind of cool. Not going to lie, that's kind of cool. D will I use this? No. Uh could you imagine me using this in public? Um <laughs> Let's do a quick benchmark here for you guys. So we are going to, all right, so we're going to begin this test. I just got it downloaded. Um, we're going to run this and um, believe it or not, you can't hear it right now, but the fan is actually running. When the app runs, it's running in the background. I can hear it. It sounds like a tiny, tiny, ever so slight whine. Actually, for a second, my brain was like, uh, what is that sound? So we are going to run an 2-2 benchmark. Um, this benchmark is going to be more intensive than any game out there. So take it with a grain of salt um, as to, you know, what the real life performance is going to be. Um, because realistically, most games out there, even the most intensive ones like Fortnite, like pretty much any game out there that you can play on mobile like any racing game any shooters um it's it's really not going to be as intensive as this benchmark so take it with a little bit of grain of salt All right, so, wow, that's kind of crazy. Um, that's the score. It says 1.6 million. <laughs> uh, quickly, let me show you guys something. Um, and I'm going to put up some of the other scores on the screen here that 
other devices have gotten. So CPU, again, it is not only the latest Snapdragon Gen 3 chip, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, it's overclocked. This is not your regular chip that you're going to find. Um, it has Adreno 750. It has LPDDRX, right? Uh, RAM and uh, yeah, Android 14. So let's run the temperature real quick. Honestly, I just ran it. It's hardly more than like maybe 96 down here, right? Um, and 90s all over, like maybe 98 at some point. Let's check the back. Let me turn that off real quick. I mean, we're not even that hot. Look at that. That's kind of impressive because that is super intensive. That is such an intensive uh, a benchmark. It, it's it's actually kind of crazy. So, um, yeah. So a couple things to kind of keep note because I want to keep this video a little short here. And let me use my fingerprint. Um, you know, and we'll we'll open up the camera here as well. Uh, except. Um, don't allow, I guess. All right. As a camera, it works. It's cool, right? I mean, I'm not really expecting uh, too much from it. But um, the competition out there, like the Apple, uh, you know, iPad and things like that, um, they're pretty expensive, right? The Tab, the Samsung Tab, you know, S10 or Tab S10 Ultra, begins at 1.2k right thousand two hundred dollars ipad pro is a thousand dollars you know those are very very expensive um one thing i do want to note here is that uh battery life is about 18 hours and that's what uh red magic is saying and uh looks like it right um but without further ado you know my over thoughts it's a fantastic tablet really is i'm gonna keep it simple without But uh, yeah, that's really it. Um, it's it's just a great, great tablet. I think for the price of what it is at five hundred dollars, it's pretty fair. I mean, it's really hard to kind of get that kind of um, bang for your buck. Really, um, it is a little goofy with all their you know, anime style things, but I mean, if you can just not toggle it, right? You don't have to, you don't have to go in and turn it on. I turned that on. Uh, these apps that they put on default or they didn't even put it on default. They asked if you wanted it. I mean, you can remove it. I mean, for what it is, this tablet is pretty incredible. Um, I can't wait to test it more. Um, I just downloaded asphalt here. Like it's, it's, it's really good. I mean, you could talk, there's so much that they do. And I just pressed energy cube. And what happens is it turns on the, um, the gaming mode. I just wanted to show you that because the benchmark kind of shows you how the gameplay is. Um, if you're holding the tablet and you're playing any games like this, it feels really good in the hands. It really does. Um, and if you're not really a gamer and you're just trying to take advantage of pretty much the best CPU on the market for $500, this is it. If you wanted to take advantage of the most powerful CPU and cooling system for other productivity, like... This is it. I mean, even if you're a person that just browses the web and watches YouTube all day, like this is it. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, like I said, with that said, um, let me know if you guys would get this tablet. Um, I certainly am keeping this. Um, I don't plan to sell it or anything. And uh, I think it is chicken approved. With that said, I know I've said that three times now. With that said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.